what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th Android application development tutorial in which I'm gonna discuss about linear layout well linear layout is a type of layout obviously and what it does is and actually before even that I would like to tell you about why the heck do we need even layouts well yes you could design an application by just throwing off design like you want hello world here and my awesome button here and perfect you spend like three hours designing how your application would look like on screen device like this but check this out when you change it to some other device like nexus one or you know it's not even like that so you can see here everything kind of you know is messed up because your spacing from the corner from the edges is not the same now and uh, the text is kind of misaligned as compared to your phone device screen and for other devices as well and when you would start moving into even complex layouts than these ones then you would see that even the slightest change in the screen resolution would kind of disrupt your app if you have a lot of things going on without any layout so you would need a layout to kind of make things organized because a layout what it does is that it would give you a certain rules to lay out your elements or what we call them as view for Android so each of them is a part of a view so view is a class actually in Java from which all of these are inherited like text view and button so we make use of that and we actually just make use of them in XML as well so okay, it's kind of look has changed from app theme so I would have preferred it to default I guess oh I guess I have changed it to Nexus 10 what it was earlier I guess Nexus 4 only right so we had uh, default theme right here here we go so what we were talking about well I forgot anyways so what I'm gonna show you oh that is irritating I guess let me just change it to Nexus 4 here first and uh, then we have to change it to device default and here we go all right so what I was talking about was about linear layouts yes so linear layouts how they work is I'm gonna show you with the worst drawing and trust me I am the worst painter or artist whatever you want to call me ever so how do we draw a freaking rectangle in paint uh, it's been a long time yeah so what happens is like if this is your Android screen right so you could just you know make a linear layout by saying that uh, you want your layout to be either horizontal or vertical so let's just say you have a logo here for your application and then two buttons which says sign up and login so what happens is that this kind of thing this thing right here this top one which consists of three elements is a linear layout right so a linear layout as the name says you can have a linear layout in a linear way that is a straight way either horizontal or vertical then what you can have is that you can have another linear layout which would be something like this right there okay then this would be a vertical linear layout right with linear layouts what you cannot have is something like this well you can have that but actually you, it would require you to have more than a single linear layout so you know you could just achieve this effect but it would require you more than one linear layout and uh, we're gonna later on you know know that uh, using multiple layouts 
inside a layout is kind of you know expensive on performance and even when you are use, making use of attributes like layout weight or something so it kind of you know not is not recommended so for these type of layouts we have relative layout which are you know kind of very cool for these type of stuff but we'll take a look at that later on so I hope you have understood that what linear layouts are and a quick revision would be like linear layout would uh, allow you to place elements in a linear fashion either horizontal like these or in a vertical way so one layout can consist of either horizontal or vertical so you could have nested layouts obviously so you could just create layouts like uh, this could be this is the main layout like if you can see here as well our XML itself begins with a relative layout so we have we could have actually more relative layouts or linear layouts as well we just add something like this and this should be actually wrap content and wrap content so you know you could just create different sort of layouts in a different layout as well so that is how pretty much a linear layout works and this is a separate linear layout and this would be a separate uh, what the heck separate linear layout and this would be a separate linear layout so that is kind of pretty much how linear layout looks like and work and uh, that's pretty much it and from the next tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create some beautiful applications with the help of linear layout so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.